time. Okay, we're good. Anyway, what we're going to, uh, I'm excited uh, uh, about a couple of things that I've got. Uh, I just got the graphics today for the four nutritional products. They're all going to be manufactured in two ounce increments for samples. And the uh, graphics are looking really, really good. I'm, I, I like two of them, two of them I'm changing, but everybody's gonna do very, very well giving out two ounce samples all around the world to people to try these products. And then they'll be able to, you know, be, get a, it's kind of like a tease because when you give somebody a two pound bag, yeah, it's good and, and they'll love it and they'll eat it. But then, uh, you know, th there's more, more of a, a impulse if you give them a sample and then they go, oh, I need more of this. I'm gone. I'm out. How do I get more of this? I mean, I want more coffee. I, I, this only lasted for one coffee. Or this only lasted for one smoothie. Or this only lasted for one hot chocolate. You know. So anyway, I'm going to be making thousands of two-ounce samples of all four of them. And we'll be able to distribute those all over the world. And I think that'll really help everybody. So that's oh, yeah. one, thing I, I, one thing I've got in the process right now. Uh, the other thing I'm excited about is I purchased, which will be ready in maybe a week and a half, is a thousand bottles of the antioxidant immune booster to help fight this COVID. And it's got the vitamin C, the vitamin D, the zinc. And the biggest thing people are finding out because uh, I got a lot of people in the manufacturing plant going, what's this Indian gooseberry? You know, And when I explained to them, the auric value and how much antioxidants are in it. I say, you guys like like blueberries? And they go, oh, we love blueberries. And I hear those are strong in antioxidants. And I go, yeah, they're strong, I guess, if you like 62. Okay, but wouldn't, wouldn't it be, uh, oh, here's the graphics. Thank you very much, Micah. Um, wouldn't it be better if the number instead of 62 to strengthen your antibodies and immune system was 1700 and change? So they go, you're kidding me. I go, you probably have to eat the whole supermarkets worth of blueberries to eat one of these uh, Indian gooseberry capsules. <laughs> these are strong and they're potent and they help fight off viruses and colds and flus and bacteria and even certain, even certain stomach cancers. So these pills are excellent for really just building up your immune system and rejuvenating your antibodies. So I'm excited about that. And those we'll launch those in a couple of weeks at the most. And uh, Michael will have those on the website shortly, and you'll be able to start uh, purchasing those and getting people involved. To me, uh, I mean, I love the nutritional products, but in this time of the pandemic, I think being able to move these products, you, we, we should be able to th sell thousands of these bottles. The minute you guys give me feedback on how it's going with distribution on these, I'm going to order 50,000 more bottles. But I bought a thousand to kind of get a feel for the enthusiasm of what we can do to distribute these. And I'll let you guys tell me what to do from there. Great. I like it. So now the, talking to Troy this afternoon, we came up with some, a really good theme for uh, this, this evening. And he actually had a, more of an insight and gave me kind of got my mind going about the different types of pain there are. And, you know, there's emotional pain, there's physical pain, there's spiritual pain, there's all kinds of different, but the things that we're, uh, we're going to talk about, uh, and, and Micah, you're, you're excellent at understanding a lot of the preventive measure, measures for some of these too, is that I know that, you know, you, you take, for example, the, the lousy football game I watched last night where Ohio got their ass kicked. Um, 13 players were out, whether they were out with COVID or injury or whatever, but the, even the best running back for the Ohio State, one play, the first play for two yards, he gets injured and he's out for the rest of the game. They already had 13 players that were out. Wow. So, I, so if you think you can beat the number one team with 13 guys out and your number one running back getting hurt on the first play, it's not going to happen. So that's called pain. For me, it was a lot of pain because uh, my dad graduated from Ohio State. But anyway, the... Uh, what I, what I think about when I see football players, especially in the NFL where they're taking cortisone shots at halftime and they're sitting there wrapping their ankles like so there's no blood circulation because they might have a broken ankle, but they need, need them to play in the second half or whatever. 
there's all different types of pain where, you know, people take aspirin to, even though your pain still exists in your body, the aspirin blocks your receptors so you don't feel the pain, but the pain is still there. Okay, and then you've got CBD, which is, is an excellent way of eliminating anxiety and help, helping prevent some inflammation, but it also works on the receptors in your brain to, to feel like, you know, you're calm and you're okay and, and you know, you're not feeling the uh, anxiety and the pain of what exists. But these MSM products that we're providing people now, those are actual ways of, of getting rid of pain through rejuvenation of stomach cells. In other words, these MSM products that are the four products that are on the website actually help with neuropathy. They help with um, rheumatoid arthritis. They help with back pain, shoulder pain, pain, muscle pain. And what they do is they have a sulfur derivative in all of them. And basically they rejuvenate the stomach cells just like you were when you were born. When you're born, you have a strong sulfur derivative in all your cells. And as you get older and your body dissipates and atrophies or whatever, you lose a lot of the, the strong rejuvenated sulfur content. This MSM puts it right back into your system, rejuvenates the cells and makes you feel 10, 20 years younger. But, but more importantly than that, it can take people that can't even open up a, a, a pickle jar or, or open up or crochet or knit or even grab a pen and write and be able to do it all again. That's rejuvenation. Okay, that's really good. And, and the other thing that it does is uh, it also, for people that have the, uh, the knuckles that grow out of line and the fingers that get angled wrong and all that, it can, I've actually seen it physically right in front of my eyes where I have people that after three, four weeks on this MSM topical gel, the knuckles go back into place, the fingers become straight, they start getting movement in their hands and their grip comes back from doing just the topical three weeks every day, religiously. Okay, so the stuff, the stuff is dynamite. I mean, it's really good stuff. Now, for people that have had car accidents, like my biochemist that actually formulated this product, and that's the reason why he came up with it. So, cause he, the doctor said he'd never walk again. The guy's walking better than me. So obviously, he takes the MSM flakes internally seven days a week, rejuvenates the scar tissue inside his body, and is able to do and, and have mobility better than most. So whether you're doing it internally for certain uh, scar tissue or internal uh, injury, or you're doing it for topical for neuropathy or uh, rheumatoid arthritis or any form of muscle pain, back pain or shoulder pain or whatever, this stuff is dynamite. And what I want to do I'm not just trying to sell this stuff. I'm trying to get testimonials from the people that you're distributing it to where they say, you know, they say to you, how do I get more of this stuff? I mean, I've got a guy in Arizona who's the number one jeweler in all the state of Arizona, very successful, very successful. I mean, he travels like every week around the world. He goes everywhere and he buys for gifts for all his old clients he buys the pump MSM, like 30 of them at a time and gives them out as presents because he knows that all these old people, if he can take away their pain, they're going to come in and buy jewelry. <laughs> he's not stupid. Okay. That's why he's a millionaire. But anyway, the, the point is he gets testimonials from me for me all the time going, Gary, you made me look like a hero. You made me look like a hero, man. I'm giving this stuff out. I want 20 more. And I'm going to distribute them out to my family and to this. So I'm telling you, it works. And I'm, prou I'm proud of it. And I take pride in the fact that uh, I can get this product for everybody out there. Because it's something that should be very, very easy to distribute. Because the baby boomers are all going to need this. And I'm a baby boomer. And I can tell you. But I can, uh, between the, the, uh, the immune booster and these SMM products, and then obviously the nutritional products, uh, help get rid of a different pain. And I'll get into that right now where when you're overweight, 
let's say you're you're 10 pounds overweight or 20 pounds overweight or 30 pounds overweight. In my book that I've written that I've hopefully I've given out to everybody digitally for free and you read it, there's a visual in there that I give that people seem to say numbers, but they don't seem to relate it to reality. So here's how I, I relate it to reality in terms of pain. Let's say you're 20 pounds overweight. Okay, well, a woman's bowling ball weighs 10 pounds. Okay, so I'm going to buy you a necklace uh, for your birthday. And you're going to put two bowling balls on the necklace as a pendant. And you have to keep this necklace on 24-7, shower with it, walk with it, go, to, go upstairs with it, put your socks on with it. And the worst thing, actually get out and run with it or play a sport, you'd be dead. So my point is that if you lose those 20 pounds, you're taking two bowling balls off your necklace how do you think you're going to breathe? How much stronger you think your heart is? How much stronger you think your lungs are? How much better you think your blood circulation is? How much less chance do you think you're going to have of needing angioplasty or stents or bypasses or whatever? Because you're building a lean machine with no bowling balls as a necklace. So what happens when you've got extra weight on this necklace? Well, think about it. If you had a 20 or 30 pound necklace, and you had to wear a 24 seven, you think you're gonna have any back pain, lower back pain? Okay, you think your knees might give out? You think your joints might give out? You think you might need a hip replacement? You think you're gonna have higher blood pressure because your heart's trying to pump blood through all this extra weight when, you, when it's not really supposed to be on your body? These are the things I try to teach so that people can understand how to eliminate so much different pain they don't have to be suffering with. The, the more you lower your percentage of body fat, the more you lower your BMI, the better off you are going to feel and you'll live 10 to 20 years longer because you don't, those, you think somebody lives longer with three or four bowling balls as a necklace or no bowling ball. I mean, so that's, that's the bottom line. Yeah. And so there's, there's a pain that you get from procrastinating your own health and not eating good nutrition and not getting active and being too sedentary and letting your body get atrophied. All you got to do is get out and walk, eat. And then Micah, I'll let Micah get into the things that we talk about all the time that sabotage you, like the sugars and the oils and, the, and, and, and that creates the pain too. But to me, we're putting together these products and we're putting together this website and we're putting together a group of people that believe in all this, so they we, so we can eliminate pain in our families, our friends, our coworkers, and everybody around us. And that should be something that is the mantra for everybody. I think that wants to get involved and be successful with this uh, this uh, lifestyle. Hey Gary, Christina is asking how many layers. <clears throat> she's saying how many layers a day of the MSM should should you put on? Oh, okay. Very good question. Here's the thing. Whenever you have a pain, you put it, you, you, you don't rub it in, you rub it on the area that is in pain. And you say, so when I say you rub it on, don't rub it in. Just rub it on, let it dry, let it soak in. 60 seconds later, put it on again. And I guarantee that in 15, 20 minutes, you'll feel relief. Now, how often do you use it? How often does your pain come back? How acute is your soreness? How much inflammation do you have? Those are the variables that would determine how many times you use it a day. But to me, there's you can't overdose on it. So if you got a pain, use it, give it a couple hours. If the pain comes back, use it again. Now I can tell you with the, the flakes, it's a different ball game. With the flakes, you do one scoop in a cup of water. It's a little bitter. You drink it and that's it for the whole day. Okay, and you do that for a week. If after a week you're still having internal pain, you you escalate to one scoop in the morning and one at night. You do that for two weeks. That should really, I mean, I'll, I'll give you the extreme example. My biochemist that makes these products, his car accident was so brutal where a steering wheel went through his chest he has worked his way up to eight to 10 scoops a day, but I'm not recommending that to anybody, but he knows what he's doing and he's out of pain. 
but he has to keep and maintain that because he's built up that and he's been painless since he's created this product. But 90% of people will do the procedure of one scoop, one week in the morning. Then if you're still in pain, one scoop in the morning, one at night for two weeks, that should, that'll alleviate 90% of the people's pain that have internal issues. If that answers your question. Yeah, I was, I think I told them already, um, Heather was having one of her like major migraines, the ones where you sit up in the middle of the night and actually, I think she was tearing up or crying. So naturally I'm going to do whatever I can figure out. But anyway, I actually took some of it and rubbed it in the back of her neck area. I mean, I didn't know what else to do. So I remember that she had sent that to me. So I said, heck with it, I'll try it. Believe it or not, she was asleep in 10 minutes. <laughs> well, now, was it a placebo, some of it? I don't know. But um, she she had been up for just sitting in bed when I woke up. And she had been up the whole night. So whatever it was, it did something. So I just rubbed it into her neck. Well, the stuff, it's good stuff. And it works. And, you know, I'm proud of it because... The one thing I've always wanted to do, even with good nutrition and good counseling, is there's there's nothing worse than being in any kind of pain whatsoever. I don't care what pain it is. And I've had women that said, I haven't slept a good night's sleep in three months. And when they call me back and say, you know, last night I slept like a baby. It was the first time and I want to thank you. That makes me feel good because I wouldn't know what it's like to not be able to sleep good for three months. That it would drive me insane. So to me, helping people uh, get out of any kind of pain, you know, it's kind of like uh, what's going on in the country today with uncertainty and financial pain. And I mean, there's all different types of pain. And so anything I can do to help support people to allevi alleviate any kind of pain, emotional, financial, whatever, uh, to me, that's what, we're, that's what we're here for. And, and I love doing it. So, Michael, why don't you get into some of the nutritional things that people should prevent so that they can eliminate all different types of digestive pain in terms of probiotics or, or good nutrition? I'm not sure I'm the expert on digestional pain. Uh, well, <laughs> everything that's digest, you know, anything that deals with digest is you're going to deal with probiotics. Mm -hmm. And that hot chocolate has 100 million million live colonies of probiotics in every four ounce serving and man if that'll keep you your stomach feeling no cramps and and clean as heck so you want to do the probiotics and and, and it's important that these probiotics absorb in your in, in internally like a lot of people don't know that a lot of these yogurts with they say probiotics 90 percent of it don't even doesn't even absorb in the body and it goes through you but i'm lucky that my my other partner who's a chemist has a patent on the probiotics where they don't activate until they get into your live live and in, in your intestines. So that hot chocolate gets all absorbed when it hits your intestines internally. So that's why people feel phenomenal when they drink that hot chocolate for a couple of reasons. One, they're not doing a drug like refined sugar. Mm -hmm. They're getting a good riboflavin antioxidant chocolate and they're getting high probiotics bacteria, which is phenomenal. So that works good. I've been drinking a lot of the hot chocolate, uh, both in smoothies and I've added to my coffee. It's like my creamer. So yep, actually, I, yeah, I you know what uh, to my coffee as well. It's well like, I can tell you, I like can tell you mocha. I'm not a coffee drinker, but you know, Benny Del Negro, who's a good friend of mine in Arizona, who was uh, on the San Antonio Spurs and also the coach of the Chicago Bulls. He takes the, the hot chocolate and he mixes it as, like he said, he mixes it in his coffee every morning and says, Gary, it's the best mocha I've ever had. <laughs> it is. That's, that's what I'm drinking right now is hot chocolate and coffee. I put, he uh, loves it. I mean, he's, he's hooked on it. He's hooked on it. He, 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 he says to me, you know, I give him a, a six pound bag of it and I think like, okay, I don't, I don't have to deal with, with him asking for and anything for a while and he goes he'll call me hey i had to give some of it to my friends and some of it to my family and some can you give me can i get some more and i mean it's funny but but he's hooked on the hot chocolate he loves it 
I'm going through about a bag a week. Five yeah, that's good. Actually, that's actually, I've got eight people waiting on the sample packets. Yeah. Up in Kentucky. Okay. Keep pushing me. Keep pushing me because I'll, I'll get them done. Uh, right now, I'm, right now I'm very picky about the graphics. So there's two I like and two I don't. But once I get those approved, we'll, we'll, they'll go to manufacturing and we'll we'll get the samples rolling. Uh, she. Uh, Renee West said that her fiance uses the hot chocolate and quit chewing. Now that's yep. a that, that's an energy switch right there because yep. chewing gives you a uh, like a burst of nitro. So yeah, right. I guess, and I guess he's flipping to the hot chocolate to get that rush because I used to chew when I played baseball and I know what that feels like. Mm. That is like high high nicotine. I never chewed, but I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, when I was in sixth grade, my dad took me out of school and drove me to a World Series game where the Chicago White Sox were playing the Dodgers. And one of my favorite players, I'm aging myself now, but the second baseman for the Chicago White Sox had more chewing on one, one, one side of his cheek than I think I've ever seen in my life because my dad gave me binoculars and his name was Nellie Fox. I'll never forget that number two on the Chicago White Sox. And I sat there and I said to my dad, I was so naive, I go, how come his teeth are so black? I, I, I don't get it. And he said, well, he's chewing a bunch of black stuff. <laughs> yeah. But that was my only experience with chew. <laughs> yeah, it'll eat your gums out. I mean, it's really bad for your mouth, oral cancer. And well, I've seen pictures of people with oral cancer and if that doesn't scare anybody, I don't know what will. Yeah. Not, not good at all. Anyway, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. And uh, I hope when everybody makes a new year's resolution, that it's something that they follow up on and don't just make it like a Hallmark card. Uh, and, and, the, and anything we can do to educate or motivate or hold you accountable to your health so that your new, new year's resolution comes true, uh, I feel responsible and I also feel uh, that it's my job to make sure I keep people motivated so that they stick with their resolutions because the biggest resolution I want everybody have to have in 2021 is everybody's finances improves, everybody's health improves, everybody's intelligence improves, and everybody's compassion improves for other people. And to me, if you can do all that, we're gonna have a good year. So what, he, what Gary basically said was turn off your news channels and go outside for a walk. <laughs> and then read books, read books that improve your life and stop worrying about every, everybody else's out there that we'll never be able to change anyway. <laughs> you, you know, you couldn't have said it better. You couldn't have said it better. No. Uh, you know what? And here's the thing that's interesting about turning the TV off anyway. And you're, you're, you're so right, Troy, is I, in my book, I say we're a nation of watchers, but not who's that pretty girl on the screen. Anyway. We're a nation of watchers and not participants. Yeah, okay. actually get out and do something. Yeah. And instead of paying a basketball player $20 million to put a ball through a hoop, go out and walk. Yeah. <laughs> that, I agree with that. You know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I'm very respectful of people that are great athletes that are good at their sport. But when somebody can make $20 million – Playing ball. Playing any kind of ball. In a year? How many years does a teacher have to work to make 20 million? Like, forget it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You mean how many districts don't even do that? I mean, I don't know. That's not even, that's sad. That tells you what we value. Somebody said America is falling in education. We're falling in uh, science. We're falling in biology. We're falling in uh technology but by golly we can play freaking ball yeah well, no only one percent of the population can play ball those are actually the people who are actually still healthy and have energy <laughs> and eat right the rest of yeah. us are couch potatoes we watch well here's the thing ball. the reason why they're they think we can play yeah 20 million dollars a year they didn't watch tv they were out doing it right yeah. you know what i mean it's like here, it, you know you, you take people that read i mean i, I was lucky I, i've had two grandfathers and a, a father, none of them read, uh, I shouldn't have, I, I, I correct myself. None of them finished high school, but 
they all made millions of dollars because they read constantly. What's going on with that? Um, just stay later. Your video is turned off on the phone, by the way, Gary. Is it, is it, is it not working now? Oh, another thing, Gary, Christina asked if the protein smoothie mix is in the founder's subscription. I believe it is, right? Yes, no, it it's is. Not. No, it's not. The protein, when you get the other one, right? You can get the other ones. And, and what it boils right. down to is there's, there's one flat rate to become a founder. It doesn't change depending on what you choose. So if we put the protein mix in there, there's a scenario someone could just choose three protein mixes, which would be at least half again as much. We would lose money on the founder subscription. So we only allowed for that for the uh, original. Buy one, get one free. Hot chocolate and creamer. Yeah. yeah. But but uh, the, the bottom line is that, uh, you know, the key, the key to me, I want people to get involved with this immune booster because I think that's going to be the biggest seller for the next year. I mean, you know, I, to me, look at all these people that are in hospital beds all around the United States and if they were taking these pills, maybe they wouldn't have got infected. Yeah. I'm actually talking to a chain of uh, C stores about getting them on their counter. Um, beautiful. Beautiful. There's to me, that alone is going to be huge. Huge. I mean, I, I'm so excited about, you know, that's why I bought a, like I said, I bought a thousand. I would, I would be excited if in a week after I get these things distributed, I'm going to have them manufactured by the third week of this month. I would be excited if by the end of the month, people said to me, Hey man, you need to order thousands more of these because these are going to go. Mm -hmm. And I think, I believe in my heart, they're going to, if we just get the enthusiasm to help prevent people get this COVID, uh, and then it's not even just that. Let's let me go one step further than that. These pills will help people that you know have issues medically not get regular pneumonia, not get regular uh, bronchitis, not get regular flus and colds, and, and in other words, we want we want to. You have people taking these pills, not just for the pandemic, but to strengthen their antibodies and immune system so they don't get any sickness. And you know, there's going to be a zillion other strains coming out from all over the world anyway. So yes. why not get proactive and start building your immune system so we can fight off whatever the hell comes up, comes next. And I, I also, I looked it up and I found a couple different uh, brands that are out there that um, have this, they don't have the gooseberry in it, but they have a, a supplement that has those three com combined and they're asking 29 and 25 dollars a bottle and ours is uh you know organic as well as uh um natural where there's i think so, the one of them was um synthetic uh, yeah, see, well, see, here's the th here's the thing and i'm going to tell you straight out what's going on in the country about all these products i'm going to tell you straight out that I'm more concerned with the genuine helping of the masses and getting people healthy. And that's why I try to make prices as affordable as I can, where that's the most important thing. And the thing that really bothers me about this country and more this country than others uh, is look at how much money is put into marketing to brainwash people to buy crappy products, yeah. okay? You've seen how, how much money was put into Pepsi Cola, you think, over the years? You think maybe $3 billion? How much money for Coca Cola? In the meantime, it's got ingredients that rip your insides apart and take your teeth out uh, and, and cause children diabetes every day. Okay. How many commercials? Thank God they, they had class action suits against cigarettes and they got rid of the Marlboro Man and they got rid of all that other garbage. I'm old enough to remember when cigarettes were a big advertising thing on TV. like where they made you feel like you weren't macho unless you were smoking a cigarette, okay? And all the movies had Humphrey Bob, everybody smoking a cigarette. All the women were even smoking cigarettes in the old black and white movies. Disgusting. But here again, marketing, 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 brainwashing people to do self-destructive things. Like you said, if you put all your money into marketing, then let's put less money into the actual product and sell synthetics so we can make more profit. Yeah. That's greed. That's just plain greed 
and exploitation of human beings' mental ability to observe. And, and, and I, the marketing that goes on in this country really thrives on the gullible and really thrives on the vulnerable and really thrives on the lonely and really thrives on people that don't have a frame of reference to what's real and what isn't real. And that's like you said, Troy, so well, uh, if we want to get people healthy for 2021, turn the TV off and let's start taking care of each other. That, 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 yes. it, I, I, if, every time I watch the news on TV, I, I, I go, really? I think I'm glad I'm, 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 glad I'm 72. I mean, it's, ridic <laughs> it's ridiculous. But anyway, I'm telling you that we're not putting the money into marketing. We're, we're putting our money into quality products and having people word of mouth help everybody around them understand what it takes to, to get affordable products to live longer and have a quality of life. That's the key to this. Yeah, and the neat part is, I mean, everybody knows pretty much on, on the uh, thing, we're, we're actually building this company with you guys. Normally a company would be established, have all its marketing material ready to hit the masses. Well, we thought it would be funner just to let everybody become part of the company and just build it from, and even actually have a part in the beginnings to where it is sort of like a family business right now. But there's no way with the team we got together that it'll stay like a family business because I know we'll grow. But that's the that's the vision we have is just to be open, be honest. And this is sort of how you grassroots a company up from... I mean, even people that's built big companies, it's it's not as complicated as what you think if you have a good product. No, I agree. And I'll, I'll give you a good analogy. I'll give you a good analogy, Troy, that I relate to in my life. I mean, I, I put up 59 health clubs around the country. I've had hundreds of thousands of members get healthy. And I I, I was there for every club watching it get built selling memberships, why they were being built, telling people, this is what you're going to get. I promise you, if you stay with me and you work with me, when the club opens, we're going to get you feeling better. And they believed in me. And when it opened, they realized what I was saying was not a hype, not, not a marketing thing. It was the truth. And so I saw, you know, I ended up getting way more members after I was open than before it opened. But here's what I'm going to say that's analogous to what you're talking about right now. I look at everybody that's in healthy response right now, just like I looked at my members that helped me uh, build the brick and mortar of each health club, and I called them my charter members. These are my charter members, the ones that believed in me even before the physical club wasn't even there. They go, Gary, I love what you're saying. We're in. Okay. And then when it opened, they went, you weren't kidding. This place is dynamite. And I, and I love it. And I'm glad I'm a member. And so it's the same thing I'm feeling with the group that, you know, I've got, I'm blessed to have Troy and I'm blessed to have Mike and I'm blessed to have the people we have now. But these are all the charter family of growing a business like Troy's saying, where we start from scratch and we work together and make it happen. And I, and so to me, I, I when, when you're talking, Troy, I'm getting deja vu of my charter member days. <laughs> hey, I, I want to add to the, uh, the uh, comment you made a few minutes ago, Gary, about uh, knowledge, you know, people that don't know uh, will believe anything, right? That's, that's how you establish your belief system is knowledge and education. And right. So when you have the coronavirus and this, this pandemic come around and you have people running around like the world's going to end. Uh, but me and I actually pulled some of this up just to verify the information before I told this to you. I was going to say, who knows how many viruses because the coronavirus is a virus, right? Yeah. How many viruses are on planet Earth? How many? Tell me. Don't, don't even say a thousand or two or something like that. It's, it's okay. So just look, put just in coronaviruses, there's the, the, there's an unknown amount of coronaviruses out there. There's so many different versions of coronavirus already that they're divided into seven categories. Oh and my God. Just the categories of ones that are contagious by humans. Right, so COVID-19 is just one of, of an evolution of strands of the same coronavirus that's been out there for, that we've known of for at least 40 or 50 years. But if you go to general viruses, right, general viruses, and this is actually on virology.ws, there was a 
2013 study in which they spent $1.2 million, they discovered that there are 320,000 different viruses that affect mammals at the rate of 50,000 viruses per mammal out there for, per, per breed. Um, it's, and National Geographic said in, in a similar article in 2014 that there's more viruses than there are stars in the sky. Wow. So See, that's, new, that's new to me. There's but so I can many tell you viruses. That... They're estimating right now that there's roughly about 200 million known viruses. And that was actually what they discovered through this $1.2 million research. They just said to discover all the viruses, it would cost not 1.2 million, but $6.4 billion to discover all the viruses. And there's an article here that discusses whether the money should be spent to go out there. There's hundreds of millions of different viruses out there from coronaviruses to flus. To, uh, we don't even know what they all are. If you start studying this stuff, most of the time when you get sick, well, your immune system protects you from most of the stuff, first of all, right? So the few times you do get sick, a lot of times they're broad brushed in as a coronavirus or a flu or something else. But if you ask somebody to name the different viruses, I bet most people could name four or five total yeah. viruses out of Correct. 100 plus million different viruses and strains that we can get and or already have. Yep, we our actually immune system. Our immune system is the key here. We've got a trillion different warriors in here and, and, and th that are able to fight against this stuff. So yeah, taking uh, the supplements, the vitamin C supplements and, and stuff that Gary's referring to uh, isn't just about protecting you from the coronavirus. It's about protecting you from just viruses in general. Bacteria, everything. Yeah. No, you're right. I'll tell you, I, I, I really got motivated to want to make things to help people when I saw this movie with Dustin Hoffman called Outbreak. And that, that movie scared the living hell out of me. And then the movie, what was the other one? The, the Contagion. That was another one that scared the heck out of me. After seeing those two movies, I go, God, I, people need to build up their immune system. Because like you said, not, and Mike, I learned a lot just right now. That's way more than I even fathomed could, uh, could exist. But here's the one thing that, that's really good is the antioxidants and strengthening your antibodies and immune system will fight off any one of these million different things you're talking about because it's a, you're building a sentry system in your body so that if something does go in that's foreign, it, it cleans out the free radicals in your blood system and fights it and it knocks it out before it can take hold, which is good. Yeah. I was reading further in this article, basically they're estimating that there's 100,939,000 different viruses out there. Oh, wow. If you include the 1.4, 1.7 million known species of vertebrates, invertebrates, plants, lectins, mushrooms, and brown algae, but does not count any other single-celled organisms that are found in the ocean or anywhere else, they estimate that's 10 to the 31st power by itself of organisms that each potentially could have like 20,000 viruses each or something. So I mean, it's like an astronomical number. Any, anyway, uh, Renee asked if these products can help disabled people. Absolutely, because um, a lot, you know, pain, uh, you know, a lot of it comes from atrophy of certain body parts from not being able to, you know, I shouldn't say not being able to use them. We get lazy and we just don't use them. But uh, unfortunately, people that are disabled a lot of them are sedentary or can't use certain body parts just because of their physicality. That's more reason to, be, to get these products because 80% of what, how you feel and how you look is your nutrition. 20% is your activity. Mm -hmm. And so if your activity is limited, especially for people that are disabled, they need to overcompensate and even eat way healthier than anybody else because they're, they're not going to have the ability for cardiovascular movement or the burning of a lot of calories. And so for them, they got to keep their arteries and their blood vessels and, and capillaries open and, and keep their blood pressure right. So these nutritional products definitely are important. And if they have inflammation, then the MSM products can help them also. I hope that answers your question, Renee. Yeah.
And I agree with that, Gary. A lot of people, they're disabled for a reason because they've, most of them have had enough, or I shouldn't say most, I don't want to categorize, a lot of them have had enough pain, right, and inflammation that they stopped exercising, they changed their habits long enough where they become more sedentary, which has invited more health issues, they stay inside more, staying inside all the time is the worst thing you could do. This, that home stay at home ordinance did nothing but get people more sick because the way your immune system works is you have well, to constantly here, take in new stuff to replenish and exhale that stuff. So it's- Here's the thing where, where moment, I tell people momentum is either going to go this way or it's going to go backwards. Now, whenever, whenever uh, I have friends tell me, hey, could you help my friend? He's in a huge state of depression. And I go, I, I ask qualifying questions like, um, what is it that they're, they're depressed about? Was there a loss of somebody in the family? Was there abandonment? Was there some form of adultery? Was there molestation? It could be a thousand things. What causes depression? But the one thing that I do know from counseling thousands of people over the years is the best way to get rid of depression isn't Zoloft or uh, Wellbutrin or Prozac or all this other stuff, the best way to get rid of depression is self-improvement, which means get out, take care of yourself and do things where every day you feel a little bit better than you do the day before. Maybe you're a little smarter, you read a book. Maybe you're a, you know, you're a little funnier, you watched a good entertainment movie. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're a little richer, you, you made a good deal. It doesn't matter what you are, if you're a, just a little bit, better in any category that's what gets rid of depression because you're setting yourself up for a new chapter in your life where you're going to be different than you were the day before to me the most depressing thing i can tell you is to robotically do the same thing every day without any change to where to me any human being would die of boredom mm -hmm. okay you've got to be feeling like you're not you're only using like 20 percent of your brain there's 80% that's dying, that's hungry for something new. Use it. You know, read. You know, if you read a book every week on something you knew nothing about today, in one year you'd be an authority. So you can take charge of anything you want. And so I love when I met with people one-on-one, -on -one or I had sometimes I did seminars or consortiums with lots of people, and I got them motivated to change and to just you got to start with self-esteem. You got to start with self-respect. You got to start with self-confidence. You got to start with self-worth. And you got to start with self-image. And once you do that, now you're ready for self-discipline. And then when you're ready for self-discipline because you've now developed self-love, that's when you see self-improvement. Mm -hmm. And to me, that, those are the stages of all the selves that make you have your own identity where you're not dependent on anybody else for happiness. Don't get me wrong. I am very grateful for the people that I'm surrounded by that give me happiness. But I can tell you what, I know that I have to, in order for me to give love out to other people, I have to be able to create my own happiness. And then it gives me the ability to give out and give back because of the fact that I feel good about myself. If you don't feel good about yourself, it's difficult to feel really good about other people. And you don't want to be an actor in somebody else's play. You want to be a playwright where you write your own script and you control your own destiny and you have your own happiness. And there's nothing better than people that develop their own freedom in their mind and have peace of mind. I love helping people develop peace of mind. Man, it, it, there's nothing better than that. And to me, this may sound a little crazy to you, but I see a lot of people that you know, go to different religious beliefs and they put so much emphasis on heaven. And I tell them that if you just practice the things I'm telling you now, you don't have to die to be in heaven. You can be in heaven right now. Okay. All the things you should write down 10 things that you think you're going to get if you go to heaven. I guarantee you, I'll check every, all 10 of them off with you. And there's not one of them you can't experience now. Oh, I would contradict that, but we won't want to save that for a different meeting. Well, yeah, but I don't want to, I don't want to get into some of your uh, transcendence. There's, there's almost nothing in heaven that you can find here on this earth other than just uh, fill Well, look, no, here, here's where I'll agree with you. Uh, I'm hoping that there's no 
prejudice, hatred, and, and exploitation and manipulation and people taking advantage of others. You know, that I agree with you on, on all, all counts. But to me, if you look at what you can accomplish while you're here on the earth, those are 10 things you can check off that a lot of people are, are, are thinking that the afterlife is going to give them where they're not trying to get those things right now. That's what I'm Yeah, I think you should live your best life now. Yeah. Go for it. I agree. I agree. And you know, it's funny how certain people have had experiences where they thought, you know, they were in a bad car accident or they've even experienced where they thought they were dead and they, they saw a white light and they came back. Boy, those people are living every day unbelievable. They're going out and they're shaking hands and kissing babies because they realize the value of being alive. But yeah, hopefully, I, th I think they wrote a country song that says, uh, I wish I could live like I was dying or something. It's like, uh, it's a story. Tim McGraw. Who is That's it? Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw. And Tim McGraw. Now, he's, 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 I like him. That's oh, he's phenomenal. Yeah. He's, phen he's phenomenal. What's the song that I like to do? Uh, what's that, that one song I listen to all the time by Tim McGraw? Something about respect or... You need to listen to it more, it sounds like. There's one song that, I don't know, there's a song <laughs> that I used to listen to like every day by, from Tim McGraw, and it shows you I'm getting old where I can't think of the name of it. Um, but he repeats the same uh, important phrase all through the song about showing respect for your, your grandparents and your friends and the people around you and whatever. You can't think I of it. Great hope, happiness, um, you know, all goes a long ways toward really creating a healthy body uh science plenty of studies over the years have shown that stress and depression are bad for your health it'll cause you to get sick it causes a cancerous environment um smile yes exactly gary find something to to keep yourself occupied change pace get some friends get some hobbies uh but have a positive outlook on life find a way okay, to look okay, at you, know, you always hear that trite phrase that the, the glasses either half full or half empty or to me i tell people fill it up fill the whole glass i don't even want to hear about half full that, 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 <laughs> somebody's dog got excited i know that That's yeah besides it being half full or half empty you got to remember it's refillable too yeah that, you know what that's a, great, on you. That, that's a great quote i'm i'm you don't mind if i do the asterisk and use that quote do you <laughs> Not at all. I've given that quote to several people to use. All right, good. And I don't think I've ever heard that. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. I like it. You know, yeah, I just think it's funny with all the daggone uh, motivational speakers I've heard. Well, Leanne, Leanne just said, and she's rightfully, uh, she's right where she said, it's hard to feel happy when you're in a lot of pain. And you know what? That should be the mantra that we go get out and reach out and help people so that we can make them happy and alleviate their pain. That's exactly right. I agree with you, Leanne. That's all the better reason to try to eat better, take products that help with the pain. Um, see what you can do to get past it. I, I it one, the pain is, one, so. thing, one thing I want our group to always be is a support system for anybody in need in terms of if they are feeling pain or they're, you know, they, they, they need any form of motivation or direction or some form of uh, insight to certain things. I'm open to talk to anybody seven days a week because that, that to me, uh, you know, we're a team and we should all, uh, you're only as good as your weakest link and I want everybody to feel strong. So that, that's important to me too. I agree. But anyway, uh, I want to wish again. This is going to be a good year for everybody, and I, if it's not, and I want to make sure that I'm a catalyst and do anything I can to make sure that we all have a great year. Yep. Hey, and if and, you're wondering, Gary started this off by talking New Year's resolutions and making sure you're sticking to your resolutions. We haven't talked about it a, a, a lot yet, uh, or at least tonight. Uh, but know in the back of your mind, I am. I've dialed it up this year. I'm eating mostly fruits and vegetables. I'm eating like ultra healthy. Let's I'm do not this. A kid. But just know in the back of your mind, Micah is doing this with me. He's okay, but let's do this. Micah, let, I got a great idea. I know that the three of us are doing the shirtless thing April 15th, which I can't wait for. But anyway, 
the one the one thing that I would like to do with everyone, and I want you to email everybody uh, tomorrow after the meeting and tell them that look, what we're going to cover next Tuesday is everyone. I want to hear everyone's New Year's resolution, mm -hmm. and then that way I can write it down and I can follow up with each individual to make sure that becomes reality with the individual with their resolution. So I want everybody to be able to participate okay. next week and give me their, and, and make it a realistic resolution. Don't say, I wanna make you know $35 million and own an island. I mean, say something that uh, is obtainable. Is that not if you know you put, you, you put the focus to it. Of oh, course, maybe you, Mike, and maybe you would. Uh, you, you're maybe at, you, yeah, I figured between you, the maybe, maybe, your toys and money bags. Mike, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. If you want $35 million with the island, I'll let you say that. But everybody okay. else, I want, I want uh, to come up with a, a, a obtainable resolution that we can talk. And I want to talk about it. And mm -hmm. I want, I want more, more participation from individuals s telling me why that's their resolution. I don't want to just hear a blanket statement well, my resolution is this, and then they're quiet for the for the hour. Yeah. So I want everybody to really give it a lot of thought and be and, and really, you know, reflect on what you're going to say that's really important to you because that's that, then it means something to me. The more yeah. important it is to you, the more it's going to mean for me. So I don't want to hear a Hallmark card type of type of answer like this is really. You know, I want to hear what somebody really really wants to accomplish that they they really going to put their heart into it and. And they want to know, maybe they need a little help. I'd be glad to help. Or maybe they need a little guidance or they need a, a plan. Because I can tell you right now, between Micah and Troy and I, we'll, we'll help you with a plan. Because that's what we love doing. And mm. we'll, we'll, we'll even write up a plan for you. And, and I'll check things off during the course of the week and month. But I really want to get into this. I want everyone to give me a New Year's resolution so that I know when we have these meetings, it's not just, you know, us, uh, us talking about our knowledge or our experiences or what we want to give. I want people to participate so I really know the pulse of the people that are out there and what their real needs are. So that's how I'm going to leave the meeting tonight where here again, like Micah said, happy new year. It's a brand new year and we can make it anything we want and whatever we put our mind to, we can get it done and we can turn our vision into implementation and execution and make it happen. But please, everybody really give it a lot of heartfelt thought what you're going to participate at the meeting next Tuesday. And I'm looking forward to it and I wish everybody a nice evening. Yeah, I agree. I can't wait to hear and see everything from everyone too. And it, it does not have to be food or ingredients. Maybe no, no, it, 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 it's it could be, I want to get my, I, my New Year's resolution is I want to get my husband to take the garbage up. Or it could be anything. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> it could be pain relief. It could be financial. It could be emotional. It could be anything. You know, it I mean, be, it could be you know. anything. Or I want somebody to tell me a good joke every week so I get a good laugh. You know what I mean? It could be what I don't care what it is. But well, I'll sign you up for the joke of the week email. Huh? I'll sign you up for a joke of the week email. I, you know what? I can get, I promise if, if that's what somebody says, Every week, I will start the meeting with a joke. See, we got what? solutions right here, right? We got solutions. <laughs> we will make this work for you. We, Absolutely. Joke we, of the we, week we, email or on hot chocolate mix in your coffee. One of the Absolutely. two. Absolutely. Whatever it takes. I want. The bottom line is we want smiles on everybody's faces and want people to feel good yeah. with no pain. See, this okay. has made a big difference for me, Gary, getting hot chocolate mix back, especially drinking it in my coffee. Because I drink coffee pretty regularly throughout the day. Probably so much that I that I can't put hot chocolate in every cup, or I literally would just be like pooping all over the place every day <laughs> with all the probiotics. But I get enough probiotics. I mean, this <laughs> happens you get too much probiotics, right? It gives you it makes you runny, and that's when uh, you, you had too much protein or probiotics. But I was wondering, I was wondering why your face is getting thinner while we're talking, but that's that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, it just, yeah, because I don't drink sugar or cream or anything in my coffee. So I literally just black organic coffee with a scoop or a scoop and a half of hot chocolate mix in it. And I'm getting a good, a good dose of uh, chocolate, antioxidants, probiotics in my system all day long. You know, it's funny. I was telling somebody uh, last week before I moved to Florida that, you know, they were talking about how, you know, over the holidays they have cake and pies and this and that. 
And I told people, you know what? I haven't had like a candy bar or hard candy or any in over 50 years, 50 years. I haven't had a soda like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, root beer, any of that stuff in over 50 years. I've never had one. And maybe that's why I feel so good. But I, it, it's, it's funny. I, it's for me, once I make a decision, this is no good for my insides. It's gone. I agree. It's with like, you. it's like, it doesn't exist. So well, I, I don't look I at it like success. Once I see the I, success and I feel better from it, you don't want to go back. No, I, once you, you start know, exercising, that, you true. get in shape and you start feeling healthy. Once you cut high fructose corn syrup and all this other crap out of your life and you start feeling the difference of it and then you go back to it and then you after switching back you're like done i'm done i'm done right it's like so you, but you got to feel the success well i can tell you that i'm here with my dad who's 96 been bedridden for six years has Al alzheimer's dementia pulmonary fibrosis skin cancer and crohn's disease mm. and he ate salami you know, in on rye bread with mustard, probably four times a week, and I mean sodium nitrate, processed meats, processed cheese, a bunch of stuff that's horrible. And uh, God bless him, always had a good sense of humor even to this day. But the suffering is it, it's tough, and that's why I'm here to be here, you know, to take care of him for his remainder. But I can tell you that I watched him eat a lot of wrong things and. I see the after effects. And so that's why for me, I want to prevent as much of this in people as I can. Agree. Anyway, let's, it's been an hour and I'm, I appreciate everybody staying on and I'm looking forward, very much looking forward to next Tuesday and tell everybody, you know, if they want to come on and listen to everybody's resolutions, if that'll get them motivated. I, our job is to motivate as many people as we can and educate as many people as we can. And I think uh, the reason why Micah brought up again and got my mind thinking about the resolution again is because one of the biggest things that we need to do beside education and motivation is let's hold people accountable to their family and to, the, to their children, mm -hmm. their health. Yep. Really important. Okay, anyway, everybody have a great night and I'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Take care. Bye-bye, guys.